friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a posterior subcapsular cataract with a small pterygium we are going to manage the cataract let us observe this real time totally unedited surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome at mid limbus now this is phenocaine which contains gylocaine tropicamide and phenylephrine now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hpmc and it is applied over the cornea for better visibility now a side port is made on the left side of the main wound about 3 clock hours away and now capsular axis the ureter force which goes in pricks the central part of the capsule raises a tag this capsular tag is held and it is guided anti clockwise all around to get an adequate size rexis of about 5.75 mm and now little bit of visco is expressed out and then hydro dissection is done the fluid wave goes to the other side the nucleus is tapped and then the nucleus is rotated and now i am going to preach off this nucleus visco take the preach upper in the right hand this is dr sohil's preach upper sustainer in the left and here it is the sustainer hooks the equator the two instruments come to each other and the nucleus gets divided into two halves this is division of on hemineucleus then i rotate and get on to the other hemineucleus and divide that also come out gently and now it is very easy to pick up each nuclear fragment and emulsify in soft cataracts if we try to hold the nuclear mass with vacuum we just eat off whatever is in front so in such cases this is a nice way to manage such cases breach off the nucleus into fragments and start emulsifying the pieces ultrasonic energy is 50% flow rate is 35 and vacuum is 400 mm of mercury this is the last nuclear fragment at this time we may decrease the parameters but in this case i didn't and now i go to IA mode 300 vacuum and 30 flow rate and start aspirating the cortex by the feco probe itself when we remove the subincisional part of the cortex we must take care of the anterior chamber stability the irrigating ports must not come into the tunnel the anterior chamber and capsular bag is filled up with visco and then a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens from hoya is being implanted in the capsular bag yes the lens has gone in the capsular bag this is hoya on 50 model no financial interest and now just we have to remove the visco very nicely using this simco to irrigate the capsular bag 
and then aspirate a bit now I use the bimanual irrigation aspiration probes the irrigating probe goes in the antechamber is irrigated nicely all the air bubbles come out now I irrigate the capsular bag and going behind the eye well I tried to polish the posterior capsule but there is some fibrous tissue kind of thing sticking to the posterior capsule however it is reasonably clear we can always use ear glazer to make a capsulotomy if this hinders vision this is a bit of moxifloxacin and now the side port is closed by hydrated corneal stroma with VSS only one side port was there in this case the main wound doesn't require any hydration the main wound is either at mid limbus or on the posterior aspect of the limbus and the main wound is constructed in such a way uh, it, it doesn't require any hydration usually this is a triplanar incision and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber the antechamber is formed very nicely and then the integrity of all the wounds are checked there is no leakage from the main wound few drops of moxie is applied and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will inspire you to adopt new ways of doing things be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect compassion and great surgical competence.